ओके जी ठीक है ओके से योग शुरू करते हैं जी ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन ओके जी ठीक है बैठो दीप शांति 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 पुनः धन्यवाद सब देने के लिए ओके बेस्ट थिंग आसन बेस्ट चक्की आसन Three times on the right, three times on the left. Achhi tana sen, achhi toes three times. Now spread your legs, move in and out. Left side, three times. Now pull, flex, flex, up, down. Now support your back. Now exercise your ankles clockwise. Three times, three times, into clockwise. Now in, pull in, in and out, out in. Okay. Uh, now stretch the exercises. Well, up. Mula ka ke liye. Root chakra always be grounded. Okay. Well, up. Okay. Let's move. Yeah. No, no, no. As close as possible. That's good for the basic root chakra. Mula dhar. Pull, pull, pull. Now, pedal. Pull, pull. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Second. When it's good, money too. बनी फूड बड़ा फ्लाई फूड अच्छा जी इट डूइंग इन हाउ सम मूलाधार बेसिक सर्वाइवल इंस्टिंक्ट या फाइट फ्लाइट फ्लाइट सो वेरी सिंपल मनी फूड योर सेंसुअल प्लेजेस टू रियलाइज दैट ईच ऑफ योर सेंसेस यू थिंक यू परसीव अ लॉट बट इट्स अप्रोच ऑफ टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट even the perception of by your senses is very low so exercise in one form is helpful now third panipur so let's say pehla tha muladhar phir swadhisthana essential perceptions third is manipur which is your fire the burning component that drives energy material success in everything Okay, so it's good time. So Diwali time now. People do Lakshmi Puja, all these things for money and things. Um, it's actually related to the money chakra. So you have Lakshmi representation in that. If you balance it, then you have focus of light in terms of work output, wealth generation. The next one is anahat. So anahat chakra. That's probably the most important component of the body because this is what joins with the universe. So it's a sun exercise like that. Then the vishuddhi, the next exercises, and then we do breathing exercises to help open up, relate, and then nashka, the three putti, and on the top. Yeah. So these are all 
small, simple exercise, which are helpful in actually helping you keep moving energy upwards. Okay? And it has to be done in a deliberate manner. It can't be just thought, okay, it will happen. It doesn't happen. You have a very basic standard, like a get a car, but if you want anything extra, you have to add on to it. So anything that goes above is added. And for that requires discipline, effort to move that energy upwards. Yeah. Now lie down. Legs 45 degrees. One, two, three, four, five. Touch the floor. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch the floor. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now open legs. Then in, out. Yeah. Now shoulder extend. Put my last hand. This up, up. Hold it. Then bring your legs. Now, alasan. Try and take it all the way back. Alasan. Now, bring your. Knees towards your nose. Pull as much as you can. Pull up. Size your back. Go up three times. Down. Go to the right side. Left. Right side. Left side. Right side. Left side. Right side. Side, but we shall set with then check her up, check her up, sleep, lift, lift, lift. So put my neck, my grass, right side, left side, right side, left side, three times. Yeah, now here, you can eat it. Push further. Oh. On your toes, stay as much as you can. The other side. Sway. Now, last one, go. Sink hold, hold, hold. Good time. Yeah. Now, sit. Bomukasan. Yeah. Push your body. Left ankle on the right. Push it forward. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then hold your fingers on the back. One, two, three, four, five. Ten side. Right ankle on the left knee. Change. One, two, three. Push. One, two, three. Stand right hand up. Left from the back. One, two. Five, one, two, three. Sit down, rest, and clap with you. Grounding, okay? Ground, very important. If your foundation is good, your body is in bite, and you are grounded, then you can achieve many, many things. If you are, haven't done the hard work and you want to become your energetic form is harder. First, you have to get this sorted out. Okay, otherwise, you become that's a difference between a mystic and a madman. A madman has no solid grounds, and then if you yeah, psychedelic drugs and other things that can to take what will happen, you get that form, pseudo hapa state, but it's uncontrolled. The difference between that and a mystic person is. They have done the hard yards, walk their nose, the grounding of it. Then if you acquire the qualities of like remote power, remote healing, remotely telepathic, all these things, 
it's actually in a control in a control manner. That's that's the difference between a man man and mystic. Okay. You press your arm trees here. The balance your basic base. It's as simple exercises, but very helpful. Do it on a regular basis. Okay. All oh, these things are not just when you become sick, then you start doing it, it will happen now. Nothing changes. You have to do it as a habit, as a continuous everyday thing in your life. If you want to remain healthy, okay? And it is possible. So you just have to be disciplined to do these things. Very simple exercises, but very effective enough. You have to just have to be persistent. Breathe in through your right nostril, out to the left, into the right, out to the left, into the right, out to the left. Now change side. Yeah. Now, exercise is fighting. No, oh, no. Okay. You start with a plank. Then you push ups. You will go 100 times now. It's yourself. Let's put your chin. Bring your legs to yourself. One, two, three, four, five, four. Now push yourself up. Look at the your leg. Chin side. Now self passing. Stay close. Pull. Go right. Left. Right side, left side, right side, and left side. Okay, now lift your legs up. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Float the cup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just the float. One more time up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, two, three, four, and keep changing. Hold your ankles, pull, pull your toes, pull, up, down. Go right side, go left, right side, left, and one more time, right, and uh, lift your right leg, and push towards as much as you can to the left side. The opposite variations of the Rasin is a very good exercise for the back. Now, balancing, lift yourself. One, two, three, change side. One, two, three. One leg now. One, two, three, change side. One, two, three. Stay in this camel pose, breathe in. Out. Push the tummy in. Move clockwise. Do the opposite. Breathe in. Out. Anti clockwise. And again. Up. Clockwise. Out. In. Anti clockwise. One more time. In. And last one. Still awesome. Lift yourself. Go back. Far back. One, two, three, four, five. Now on your knees, on your ankles, go as far back. One, two, three, four, five. And all the way. Get us the floor. And keep going and going and going. Up. Lift. Barakasa. One, two, three, four, five. Now, Vajrasana, sit in this pose. Put your fingers together at the belly button. Push down. One, two, three, four, five. Press. 
push further down. One, two, three, four, five. Chain side. Push one, two, three, four, five. Now along your thighs with the level of belly button on the side where the kidneys are. Push it out. One, two, three, four, five. Now keep sitting. Sizes for your eyes. Look at the right side. Next straight. One, two, three, four, five. Left. One, two, three, four, five. Diagonal right side up. One, three, four, five. Left side down. One, two, three, four, five. Go opposite. Left side up. One, two, three, four, five. Right side down. One, three, four, five. Go right side again. One, two, three, four, five. Left. One, two, three, four, five. Rest. Hands on your thigh. Look as far as you can. Close your tip of the nose far away. Tip of the nose far away. Tip of the nose. Go clockwise. 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. 3, 6, 9, 12. Go anti clockwise. 12, 9, 6, 3, 12. 9, 6, 3, 12. 9, 6, 3, 12. Now, size your neck clockwise. Move your neck very softly. Three times. Anti clockwise softly again. And then chin. Press one, two, three, four, five. Left side. One, two, three, four, five. Push down. One, two, three, four, five. Front. One, two, three, four, five. Back. One, two, three, four, five. Shoulder in and out. Out and in. Push your hands. Back. Okay. Now, done most of the exercises. Right. You can balance this way. Try. Do on the side. On your tummy. I don't lift yourself up without support of your hands. Let's go down. Up like this. Go up. Now, this leads to doing standing up exercises now. Okay. So we do stand up exercise. Let's go. Breathe in and out. In, out, in, out. Breathe in. Out. No. The hands in, out. Out, in, out, out, out. Now jump. One. Now, size for your knees. Rotate clockwise a few times. Anti clockwise. The thighs again clockwise a few times. And then anti clockwise. <coughs> now, Richardson, three pose, one side. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Left side, go up. One, two, three, four, five. Both legs up. Breathe out. Warrior pose to the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Lift up. One, two, three, four, five. Balance. One, two, three, four. Now change side. One, two, three, four, five. Lift one, two, four, five. Now balance again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Anjali Asan. Go down, down, hold yourself. Yeah, go up again. Now hold your ear. Right. Go down one, right. two, and go three, and hold it. One, two, three, five, five. come on. One, two. All right, next size. We're done. This one now, let's do Chandra Namaskar. Start with three corners, okay? You hold your right elbow, look at the fingers on the right side, up on the top. Bring it down, bring both hands down. Balance, balance, go down. Up one, two, three, on your right hand. One, two, three. For the same left side, three cone. 
hands down, both hands. Bend your knees, go up. One, two, three, four, five. Change side, left, up. Ankle, one, two, three. Push further down. Up. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we left with Surya Namaskar. 12 position asans. Okay. So it's with gratitude. Thank you for the morning. Thank you for everything that you have. With that in mind, do this. 12 poses. Breathe in silence. One breathe in. Breathe out. Push your hands up. Breathe in. Touch your toes. Push your right leg back. Plank position. Hold it. Astanga. Sun. Chin. Knee. And close that to the ground. Rest is lifted. Up. Mountain pose. Then lift your right leg. Pull up my left. Push your left leg in. Up. Breathe out as you come up. Now do the same from the left side. Breathe in. And out. In. Out this time, left leg goes back, plank, asan, bhujang asan, parvat, left, followed by right, put the right leg in, up, breathe out, now. Second cycle from the right side, breathe in and out, in and out, right side, plank position, bhujang, 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 parvat asan. Right foot on my left, pull the left leg pull up. Now from the left side, breathe in and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Third cycle from the right side. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Point six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The last one from the left side, breathe in and out, in and out, go down, plank position, astangasan, bhujang, parabat, left leg, followed by right, pull in, come up all the way. That's only three cycles. Imagine doing 20 of them. Yeah. So lots of every muscle being exercised by them. Now, towards the end, if you can balance do this. On your elbows. The last one is head stand. If you can't do head stand, just do shoulder stand. Helps the gravity, flow the blood downwards. Okay, so. Okay, now. Let me stand. Hold. Lift up. Balance it. Spin your legs. One, let the blood flow from your legs to the heart, to the brain. Make it easier. Side is fully muscle. Neck muscles, shoulder muscle. Oh, yeah, so that's all done. All right, we've done all the mm. asanas for the rhythmic exercises, which will include mindfulness in it. You get lots of benefit. It's in the peace of your house, your place, you don't have to run around. You don't have to go anywhere. They're protective. Your weight is your control. You don't get injured. Yeah. Lie down. You deserve some rest. With the rest, we do what's for. Okay, so lie down. Hands are flat. Feet separated from your body. Legs all same. Just flat now. Rest. Your body has been exercised nicely. So it wants to have a rest, which is excellent because if you really need your subconscious to be expressed. Your body needs to be nicely exercised because then it goes into rest phase. So that's the benefit of doing this last asana because nicely exercised for now 40 minutes. 
it automatically goes into resting. But you are awake, you are not sleeping. So it's called yoga nidra. So yoga nidra is active sleep, while normal sleep, seven to eight hours is passive sleep. You fall asleep, your body is tired, your mind sleeps, you, yeah, you, you go to sleep. But with yoga nidra, you are actually awake. While the body, because you exercise, it's now resting. With that now, you can tap into your, what's called abundance. 90% of your bodily functions are subconscious. We are misled. This is the irony of life. We think we are in control, but it's only about 5 to 10% at most. Are there any of your physiological functions, be digestion, excretion, anything? 90% of each of these things are actually subconscious, beyond your normal thinking. It happens, but you think you are in, it's you doing, but it's actually a program stuff in yourself. Subconscious, it gets expressed. It starts from, you can watch people, how they wake up in the morning, what they say, how they behave. They, they are not in control. People who are irritable, expressing negativity all the time, the, the, that's what happens because it's a habit formed and the whole day goes like that. They never learn, they never change because that program has been there for 20, 30 years now. So you just follow that and your whole day is worse and it gets worse and worse in 20 years. It manifests into different illnesses than in your body because negativity has no, not only impact on your the way you behave, but it has an impact on your cells in your body, the physiology. So you remain negative, angry, attached, selfish. Your cells then is like smoke or alcohol or you know poison, anything you take. It harms your cells. Your thought processes also start doing it in 10, 15 years, same thing. So you have to be very careful and understand that your body, whatever you do, is actually 10% 10, 10 at maximum that you are in control of it. So the more you learn how to tap into this subconscious, the better as a person, as a worker, anything that you want to do will become easier. Otherwise, it's very hard. So first part of it is, to take advantage of the body's resting to get into the subconscious, you know, and then you get your thoughts like 70, 80,000 thoughts comes in a day. Basically, it is a thought that exhausts us, takes away oxygen. Your brain, as it is, takes 25% of the nutrients of the body. So it's too much, you know, for a small part of your body, it takes so much energy. So you need to actually reduce the number of thoughts. So the, the other benefit of this exercises is that you learn how to filter out unnecessary thoughts that runs in your body and controls you. So breath and these yogic exercises are very helpful in that. So breathing through your nostrils, deep breath and follow the breath as it goes through your windpipe into your lungs. Observe your closed third eye, what happens, oxygen binds to hemoglobin, travels in the blood to the heart, and heart pumps it to 50 trillion in your body within microsecond, less than microsecond. None of it is in your control. Your control was only breath. But we, most of us, we don't know how to breathe even properly. We are very superficially breathing. Our lung is not empty properly. You don't get enough oxygenation of your cell. So breath is your only part of your control. The whole rest of the physiology you don't know. Now, Again, observe, breathe in. Now, concentrate on any uh, taking out your breath. As the breath comes out, with your third eye, run yourself from your toes to the head. The blood returns to the heart, takes the lung, and then it reconverts into carbon dioxide and gases, and it comes out. Okay, so breathe again. Deep breath. Each of these follow how it goes through your body, how it comes out. By atom numbers, oxygen is two, carbon dioxide is three. So you can control your weight, your metabolism, and lots of things by just understanding breath, apart from managing your monkey mind. Okay, so you get more focused mind. Now, third one, now bring your attention to the belly button. 
Third is called pran upon saman. Third pran is called saman. Basically, the digestive energy, hydrochloric acid, it reflects the sun as it runs our planetary system. Similar way, in our tummy area up here, it runs your metabolic processing. So if you are observing on it, concentrating on it, you have digestive process, your metabolism is much better. It expresses energy. So as long as you are warm, you are alive, when you become cold, you are dead. So that energy, the heat, Reflection of the sun in your body through the saman, it's called pram. So breathe again. Follow it now. As you exhale, bring your attention to the level of your chest where the heart is. With the fourth, that closed eye, observe heart as four chambers, it pumps blood, five liters of blood plasma to the body. So it represents the fluidity of this body. The earth is surrounded by ocean, 70% body and 70% fluid. Fluid, you have to make sure you have water is still the best drink, yeah? No, none of the mixed drinks, but the water is your best drink for your body. So make sure you have enough hydration which reflects your brain. Flows in water, it's called cerebrospinal fluid. So part of this exercise, the flexibility exercises of the back is because it moves your CSF, cerebrospinal fluid, it washes your brain. If you don't move your spines, that fluid doesn't move, it doesn't wash your brain. So this is related with your dementia, Alzheimer's disease, lots of other brain diseases happen as you get older because you are not washing and there's a fluid in the body which washes it. So flexibility exercises are process of moving your CSF or fluid. Similar lung is surrounded by fluid, heart floats in fluid, your tummy, organs, spleen, everything floats in water. Even a baby, you know, in the womb is floating in water. So that water is a conduction system in the body. It gives your sponge, it's, you know, keeps your organs safe, but it is a conduction system, electrical conduction, you know, in the ionosphere and in the universe. That's how you relate to the deeper person that you are through the electrical impulses and that's not measurable by the simple means we can measure it like we can measure heart by ECG we can measure brain by what calls EEG now we have EMG so magnetic res uh, measurement from outside like from heart about three meters away from your heart you can measure the electrical energy around your body the, now you can measure at least some of these things so that is what happens. So you need to make sure you observe yourself in that manner. Then only you understand now, breathe again. Deep breath. The fourth pran is called, was called udan, which is a fluid. Fifth one is called vyan. Vyan is reflective of your, there are 205 bones, your 30,000 kilometers of your arteries, veins, nerves in the body. They have all this functional activity that happens in your body, observe it. It's your body, you should know about your body. It's not only doctor's job. Your body should understand that what's happening in it, then you'll be able to look after it. The more you give, become dependent on someone outside, like a doctor or a hospital practice, or your behavior on someone else, you'll never take responsibility. This is the problem of people. Be it their behavior, they always blame other person, not themselves, they never look at themselves what they do, how they live their life. They don't know about their body and so that's why they become sick. So if you, once you start taking responsibility of you as a person, your mind, your body, then you will be healthy and be responsible for what you do in life. Otherwise, it's always a game, blame game. You blame the world for everything, not yourself. Never look at your own self. And this is the habit of 99% of the people in the world. Breathe again, deep breath. There are five other pranas called Nak, Kurma, Karikal, Devdat, Dhananjaya. These are associated with movement of food, digestive functions. You know, you get hiccups, eyelid movement, birth process. All these others are also related to this prana shakti. So breathe again. The second part of your body that is important after breath is your food and drinks okay so without breath only for a few minutes you'll be alive food even three months you can survive probably 
but still you'll have to have food. Whatever you so much baby of three kg to become 80 kg. Only thing that made difference was your food and drink. That's what you put in your body makes your body. So it's extremely important what you put in your mouth because that's what is going to make your body and it's not only your body, your mind with it, your soul or the spirit or the energy of it as well. So as human being, you have to be, because you have the liberty and the freedom, you have to make sure you take responsibility. You're an animal, you know what you eat, plant, they only take out whatever nutrient from the earth. And that's all do. A rose will always only produce a rose and they only take their nutrients. Otherwise, they'll dry and die out. And animals also. Problem of human beings is because of the freedom and because that 5-10% what they think is the ego, the maya, the illusion of it which controls, they think they're masters of every other creation in this universe. And they think they, they have the right to do whatever they want. But obviously, there is a problem with it. And they are the hypocrites. You know, if people say we like pets and things, but they kill the animals and eat them. The hypocrisy of human beings has no limit to it. You think you look after the climate, but you uh, you grow cattle. Billions of, 80 billion animals are killed a day. You just feed. Imagine that land, the space, the water that it takes. So the you know the jokers of the world who talk about climate change, that Swedish girl or whoever these people are, they eat McDonald's, they fly, uh, you know, planes, all these things, eat all this stuff, and they talk about climate change. So this is what human beings are. They will never take responsibility of their behavior and blame everything else. So what you put in your mouth will make your body. Your digestion starts in your mouth. Your blood pressure, your neuronal function, brain function, your heart rate, everything is controlled as soon as you think, put your thing in a mouth. So vegetables like colored vegetables, purple, red, all these things have a direct impact because they produce nitrous oxide, nitric oxide, which dilates blood pressure, so blood pressure is controlled. Walking does the same thing, food, foods, they start the function in the mouth. Your food by 40 centimeters, your large bowel, 8 meters, small bowel. They have 38 tree and bacteria. And this bacteria is directly managing your body. And if you don't look after this bacteria, all the diseases at the moment, medical science now, is telling that it is due to imbalance of our bacteria in the stomach. And food and things, it's not about ideology, don't believe in ethics or morality. That's it's no problem. But your own bacteria, if they are not a healthy bacteria in tummy, you'll have diabetes, you'll get heart disease, metabolic syndrome, because the mucus layer that gets depleted if they are not enough bacteria, you get hyperactive immune system, so you get Crohn's disease, you get inflammatory bowel disease, you get thyroiditis, you get kidney disease, you get skin disease, you get lung disease, hyperimmune system. And if they are other types of bacteria will reduce your immune system. So you get cancer. So all these things are directly related to the your eating habit. If you take soda, if you take uh, carbonated drinks, if you take uh, fast foods, food which are cooked very quickly, they all reduce this amount of bacteria in your tummy. So slow cooking, home cooking, natural food, prebiotics, probiotics, Fruits and vegetables, high fiber food. They are the foods of bacteria. So this is the reason why you need to be vegetarian, not some kind of religion or anything. It's actually your stomach, your growth of bacteria in your body and responsibility of looking after the climate. And after that, I have some thought of, you know, killing things and feeding your tongue is a very selfish exercise. So think about it, what you put in your mouth. Now take your attention to the sides of your tummies, where the kidneys are, the bean-shaped structure. So most of the fruits, the shapes, are related to the organs in your body. Nuts, the bean, bean, kidney bean shape. Okay, so 
they have meaning. Everything is a meaning. A plant has a huge role if they are producing oxygen for humanity. Everything is part and parcel of a, a orchestra which is done by the creator. Nobody is a master in this. Everybody is interdependent on it. And the best example is oxygen itself. It's full of kidney, the ureter, the bladder, the urethra. So make sure you, you know, fluidity, your excretory function, you take responsibility. That's why you need to do hawa niya yajna. Because purifying environment in the place you live is very important because we breathe out. And breathe, when you breathe out, that air needs to be cleansed. And that's why you do the yaj or hawan with that ingredients in it cleanses the air that we live in. It's not pleasing anyone. The creator, why the creator needs to be pleased? There's no real need. It's a, it's a stupidity the way people believe. It's actually responsibility of you to look after what you excrete. So you do these kind of processes, yajna. A prayer is a gratitude for what you have in life, not to please someone. It's your benefit if you express gratitude, if you're humble in your life. That, that's what it does. Nothing, nothing. The one who makes everything doesn't want anything in that. That's a very selfish way of actually trying to think you are praying. Breathe again, deep breath. Take your attention to your fingertips, your wrist, your elbow, to the shoulder, back of your neck, follow it down the vertebrae, all the way down the legs, behind the calf, down to the soul. Learn how to ground yourself. Body has 50 trillion cells. Imagine how much electrical energy is in this body. So you need to be grounded, grounded by your thought processes, grounded physically. Touching the earth without shoes, well, you know, make sure you, you ground yourself. The energy, the electrical energy goes out within any kind of electricity in the house. This house has a grounding done in it. The electrician has put because the energy needs to be grounded. The same way in human body. And it's more important because if you want to grow beyond what you are, you need a proper grounding of your body. Then only you can become a high level thinker. If you, if you don't know your body is not grounded and you are flying and trying to understand the universe, you'll be like a madman. You'll be like a person on uh, LSD or something, like a psychotic. It doesn't work that way. You have to learn how to first look after this body, ground yourself. Now come up in front of your leg, your knees, your thigh, along your spine on the left side is associated with position of mood. Okay, so it's called Ida. On the right side, it's called Pingla, the sun. So each of them have so end organ hormone secretion or master gland, pituitary gland. Your posterior pituitary secretes hormones which dilates the blood vessel. Endothelial derived growth factors. So you get diffusion, like oxygenation of your body very nicely then. Blood flows if you have proper hormones. Then the anterior pituitary has growth hormone and all these other hormones of your body. Without them, you can't live, you can't survive. And they are related to the earth spinning around the sun. So sleeping on time, waking on time is very important. Then you have no control because the sun is spinning around 20, uh, earth is spinning around the sun 22,000 kilometers per hour. And it's tilting as well, 16,000 kilometers. So you, you have no choice that you can't make any rules on your own. You have to sleep by time and wake up by time. Then only your pituitary gland functions better, which has direct relationship with your pineal gland. And that is your link to what's called metaphysics. So if you want to understand deeper aspect of who you have as a person, then the rhomboid crystals, which are in pineal gland, when they get activated, you can actually have Remote power, remote control, remote uh, telepathic stuff. All these things happen from that level of your perception. Your thyroid, your parathyroid, bone marrow, antibodies that are produced, ninja mutant like uh, army of your body, stem cell. Each of your body has 25% reserve in your body. But if you don't know how to tap into the reserve, you'll be sick. You don't know. Otherwise, if you your body is not 
functioning well, there's a reserve of every single cell from brain, heart to every bone, every cell. It's called stem cell. But if you don't know how to tap into it, it just dies within inside. So adrenal glands, fight, fight, flight, that's born. They need, need not be there 16 hours a day. If you are in that phase, then you are chronically damaging your body. And that's why, why people are so sick. They grow old so fast. Because you need to balance it, what's called vaso, vagal nerve stimulation. So rest, repair, regeneration, creativity happens through your stimulation of your vagus nerve, which links from your brain to your tummy, which links to the bacteria in your tummy. So your heart rate, your blood pressure, all these are controlled by this system. The food movement, peristaltic, spleen, kidney, insulin growth factor, all these things that are released are released through what's called the subconscious vasovagal tone stimulation. Then, then you have a peace in your life, happiness in your life, creativity and whatever you want, you can achieve. It's a balance and tapping into the abundance which is your subconscious which is 90% yourself. Otherwise, if you keep living in this 10%, you will you'll struggle You'll be drained. The amount of hard work you'll have to do. Imagine getting a degree, simple degree, bachelor's getting done. 30 years of your life is gone to get a degree only because we are following this kind of system, which is hard work, which is not using your energy system or your subconscious intuitive part, power of creativity. People who are very successful actually are in that phase. That's why they become successful. Hard work uh, brings, you know, sim a little bit of success. You can have a basic living, but that's it. Nothing, nothing really in abundance. And after 30 years, that doesn't work anyway, because you are programmed into just living that way of your life. So after 30 years, it's even harder, because you are so strongly programmed in your mind that the subconscious just pushes it outside in your daily activity, the same thing. And... It, this is why people are so unhappy nowadays. Breathe again, deep breath. Now take your attention to your eyes. With the third eye, look at your eyes. As I say, the limitation. Even we can't see to the potential, smell to the potential, listen to the potential, taste to the potential. Only 10-15%. Imagine you have that kind of capability you develop that you can see as far away like a bird or something. We hear like an elephant. We smell like a dog. That dog can know me. I'm five, six hundred meters away. They know. So this is your limitation. Understand and uh, accept it. And uh, all, as I say, animal plants are there to teach us. So you, your capability to increases. Then your movement, bowel movement, your product function, your talking, your hand, your leg movement. These are your antennas to the body. Very limited in its capability. And as you get older, it even actually becomes even less. Now breathe in. Take your attention to the tailbone where we started, which is called Muladha, reserve energy, basic instinctive levels, fight, fight, survival. You ground yourself, then you are able to move your energy to Swadhisthana, your sensual perception, this limitation of antennas, you increase it. Then you move further to the belly button, what's called Manipur, the sun energy gives you the drive, you become power, you are powerful, you can wake up on time, you can do daily activities, you are very successful in your material level. If you have control of those lava three, then you can move to the fourth, which is the heart. Then abundance comes. You have compassion. You feel for other uh, animals, plants, other human beings. And if you have that balance, your speech will be nicer. You talk properly with people. And if you tap, then your perception, each of those senses that I've talked about, listening, hearing, watching, all these things become balanced. And then when you reach the forehead, which is called the Trikuti Asana uh, Chakra, represents your pineal gland, which we trigger, then you start getting this free flow of energy and direct correlation with your right side of your brain to the abundance which is the universe itself where everything 
So eight billion people, every eight people, eight billion people can be a billionaire. There is nothing, no short of abundance in the world. There's too much, everything. You, you shouldn't be uh, jealous. You shouldn't uh, compare with anyone. You should just strive to become better in life. Because if uh, Elon Musk will be a trillionaire soon, there's no, no short of nothing wrong with him. He's just using his brain and his creativity power. Everybody has this power. Every young person, old person, male, female, any colored person, nobody has restriction. And don't think it is actually someone who is rich, then many they, they are taking away from the poor people. No, it's not the case. The poor person is only finding excuses not to actually tap into abundance. Abundance is there for everyone. So breathe deeply and breathe out, breathe in and out. So now, this is the physical body. The next step is part of it is actually observing yourself as the end the subtle body that you are, your mind. Because within seconds, your mind moves, yeah? One continent to another, one planet to another, moon, Saturn, anywhere it goes so fast. When you have control of this part of you, which is obviously not physical now, subtle, then you can actually have an outer body experience. But for that, you need proper grounding, you have a proper control of your body, what we did now. Then feel yourself, look at yourself, your body, and now feel it that you are outside and you are traveling. In Now it's out of time, there's no restriction and it's only space. Because time is a human construct, yeah? It's not a real thing. If you move out of it, there's only space. If you go 500 kilometers in the International Space Station, you watch. You can observe Earth is spinning and twisting of those pieces and keep keep moving. So where the moon is 384,000 kilometers, the positioning of moon, Shukal Park, Christian Parks, and the Akadasi, see the fasting that we need to do by the positioning of moon. Is directly related to your physiological function or the distance of the sun around 153 uh, million kilometers or the, the space between the sun and moon where it's called Aditya where the positioning is you can observe what's happening between earth, sun and moon you can visit there in your, through your mind or through a spacecraft which is there at the moment watching uh, the sun and the moon and the earth at one time at that position about 1.5 million kilo kilometers from earth and keep moving on observe the milky way there's 100 million stars 100 million galaxies earth is like a dust particle it's irrelevant in that sense Earth moves in the Milky Way, it takes 250 million years to do one cycle. It's gone through already about 22 cycles, but it has another about 20 cycles left, about 4.5 billion years still, before it will be dissolved, or it will merge its, with another uh, uh, universe called Andromeda. Then it will be merged. But then there's so many others still there. The Big Bang is not start of a creation, it's actually merging. When they merge, and now the science, and uh, they understand these things, which is already written in the Vedas for centuries and centuries. So, Makar Santi, your movement, we have the good times like April, May, month of a year for your resolutions and whatever you want to do in your life. For parallel universes, and what you are as a physical being, your energy form that we try and tap into is already there. Whatever your dream comes in a in our active dream, like you visualize something, it's already existing in that energy form. The problem is we don't know how to get into the energy form. That's why we can't obtain whatever we desire. Because our focus is not that strong and our emotions are not that strong. We are not actually conducting through what's called your creative mind, then you can't obtain. Some of the things we obtain when you are younger, because we have strong emotions and those desires actually 
get expressed as we grow older. That's why we become whatever we become by 20, 25 years. Because that drive was there, that feelings was there, but after 30 years, no. You can't drive that way. You can't actually feel that strongly. And to feel that strongly means you are tapping into your feral person that you are. So that this is the explanation of what prayer does and why we do certain things. It's not about pleasing anyone. It's about you actually getting deep inside yourself because then as a creator, which is the efficient creator of the universe and everything, you are part and parcel of the whole whole energy in a in a in a limited capacity as consciousness to the abundance which is unlimited consciousness already there. The only thing is you need to actually reconnect and then everything else follows. The more you detach you are, the more your ego controls and the more your senses, which is 5% running this body, is the master. You are far, far away from your true self where the life becomes easier. And the more you are separated, the more this, uh, the pain will be there, the more this rebirth of cycle to refine yourself because the purpose is eventually to rejoin that energy form. Until such time you keep doing these cycles, then depending on the accumulation of impressions, what we do, the karma cycle, you keep being in that phase. It's a universal justice. It's nothing anybody has been, there's no punishment. It's just a justice system of what we do. The realization is, occurs only in human form. And Earth is given as a beautiful planet for that, so that you, at a physical level, you are able to experience the beauty of the Creator. But at the same time, there is a bigger responsibility. Okay, so breathe deeply. Yeah, so what's what event horizon? About 25 million light years. One uh, light year is about 10 trillion kilometers. Imagine the distance. There is no time in space. There is mass, is energy, wave of particles, there is the gravity beyond that, the black hole, what's called quasar or pulsar, these light systems. So you, you are in fourth dimension, fifth, eleven, you can be twelve, twenty-fifth dimension. At the moment we only live at third dimension, that's the restriction of it. So knowledge is power. If you have the knowledge, then you can start understanding the limitation of this body. And about 50 trillion um, light years, it's called cosmic horizon. And they are, they're just the space only, there's infinity. So light matter is only 17% of what we can see, dark matter about 25%, and the rest is called dark energy. So that is called quantum field. So all this, the other part of that abundance of life, wisdom, health, wealth, that can come is within this energy system. So the more you are able to get into that state of relating yourself, which actually is making sure your two sides of brain that you are given are utilized. You can live on one side of brain, which most of us do, which is left side, which is just Newtonian, very objective, but if you combine with the right side, which is intuitive, creative power, then it gives you that combination or connection to elect within electrical frequencies to your parallel universe, which is the energy form. So deep, deeply, this is what yoga teaches. And this is actually very beneficial for health at a very fresh state. Your body system is good, then you can refine yourself and actually be able to move further into this pathway. So all other stuff that we talk about is actually made too simple, you know, in terms of um, religions. It, it's just misleading, actually. Apart from a bit of uh, entertainment and uh, festive and feeling good things, not much is now left in most religions now. So breathe deeply, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, come up. So that's your nidra as part of exercise of asanas. We do it because then you are able to really get into your subtle mind or your 
your plane of existence beyond your physical body. But you have to be, you have to first do a lot of exercises. The body needs to tire. It's in the resting phase. Then it allows you to, to tap into your system, which is the subtle mind and beyond that. So if you want to have an out of body experience, astral projection or remote powers, telepathy, all this is possible. But you, you can't be, you know, why most people are not taught these things, even by people who know, is because you, you be, it's, it's risky because you can become a mad person. It's like on a drug, don't know what to do. So that grounding is very important, understanding and being in control, then getting this um, level of uh, ex existence with those energy, then, then you have power. Then you can keep uh, evolving. So, if I mean, I share the knowledge so that you can actually do something in your life. It's not any ideology, it's uh, religions have made it very simple. The real path is actually keep going inside, develop your intuitive power, and, and evolve as a human being. Okay, so the next phase of these things is even more deeper, which is through your breathing exercises. Because physical exercises bring you to this level of understanding. You have a travel, you have an active mind, or um, even you can get auto body experience. But to refine your connection to that energy self requires something more. So breathing exercise is one of the things. You can do other things like uh, uh, channeling systems are there. There are other different ways to do it too. Breathing is very powerful as because it improves not only your blood flow, oxygen, and other things, it removes this 60, 70, 000 thoughts that we get. Okay. So we start with what's called Bhastika Pranayam. So breathe in through your nostrils, breathe out through your nostrils. As you breathe in, push your belly button out. As you breathe out, push your belly button in. Uh, uh. You understand we talked about the Jatharagni, the power, the representation of sun is around your belly button. So you concentrate on that. So you not only become energetic, your metabolism increases, but your thought processes are being filtered, refined. <laughs> If it's difficult for you to sit and do it, you can use your hands with your breath movement. Just doing about even five minutes of this breathing exercise probably gives you so much of energy that no food, nothing can give you. It's so deeply crunching inside you. The breath, the breathing exercises. So you really, really develop energy. Um, you have immune system which is firing and protecting you. Your genes, the good genes are being amplified. And if you are mindful and if you have this knowledge that I'm talking, which is understanding your body system, it multiplies. Because why we talk about it, why you have to know about this thing is because your cells want to be part of you. You have to be conscious of yourself then it responds because your thought becomes electrical impulses which travel through the nerves to your cells. And within the cells, there is this conduction system. Then they, if you put in the right thought, you are happy, you have gratitude, you have humility, you are always grateful, they all amplify your good genes. But if you are the other way, you wake up, you are angry, you are shouting at people, you are blaming the world, everything, your cells 
and every single cell is going in a negative state of stopping production of good hormones, chemical mediators. So nobody else but you yourself is either making yourself healthy or bringing disease in your body. You, you take, have to take responsibility. That is how the body works. This is not uh, some kind of you know lecture or something. This is the fact. This is the truth about your body. You do it, you look after yourself, you'll be healthy. If you keep blaming the world and never have control of your thoughts and your anger, your um, selfishness, your all these things, you're, you are suffering inside. You know that much. So detach yourself. Bring in the positive thoughts. And it's not easy to bring in positive thoughts. It requires a lot of discipline and training because for 10, 20, 30, 40 years now we've been pushed in ourselves or we are programmed just to think in the opposite manner. So no surprise, surprise why people are so restless, so unhappy with abundance of everything. They have cars, houses, every life, they have everything. But they're most unhappy at the moment in the world. It is about you, nothing else. So now the second one after Bhastika is called Agnisar. So breathe deep, breathe out. <laughs> Hold the breath, push your belly button in and out. So hold, breathe in, out. <laughs> now hold the breath. Not only it teaches you how to hold your breath, like fasting, intermittent fasting removes zombie cells, senescent cells, so makes you older, your cups, your telomeres, you get older and diseased. Fasting helps that way. Holding your breath is also like a fasting. When you and you hold your breath for a longer time, there is a there is a space created, and space is energy. Yeah, ninety nine percent of your body is space. Atoms and electrons, all these protons are only one percent. So you get into that space, and space has energy. So that's how it actually amplifies as a person who and whatever you want to be. But all this to start off is based on having positive thought processes. It only can be used for good things. If your mind is to is thinking into doing something wrong with whatever you want to do, then it won't work. You have to relearn everything to become a person who wants to share, has to learn to give, has to be kind, has to be compassionate, has to express gratitude. You need all these things. Then only you can tap into that. Without, without uh, doing this hard work, you are not going to get there. So breathe again, deep. Breathe out. Hold it. While you're holding the breath, you're pushing your belly button out and in. Okay? One more time. Out. That's called Agnisa. Now, activation of your immune system, your stem cells, your energy, neurovascular bundles, heart, which is all sits up in the upper chest, thyroid, parathyroidia, bone marrow. So for that, this is vibratory exercise. So breathe in like that. So feel <coughs> the vibrations, okay? So within and out like that. <coughs> now put your chin on your chest and breathe, so which increases further the, the vibration within your upper, up, up here. <coughs> Close your right nostril, breathe out to the left. <laughs> now breathe in if you can roll your tongue breathe in through the tongue put your tongue right up to the upper palate and breathe out through your nostrils <laughs> Now breathe in through your teeth, like your lips. 
out through your nostrils. Now, we do big long breath in, which is called Aventra breathing. As long as you can, then you breathe out as long as you can, which is called Vai breathing. Then hold the breath. When you are holding the breath, close all your orifices from down right to the top. Okay, so which means then you put your chin on the chest, Mulban Jalandan Manudan. When you are, and then hold as long as you can. When you can't hold anymore, then when you're breathing in, watch yourself as you travel from your lowest level chakra right to the top of your head. It's like washing your inside, like showering outside. It's the breath washes inside your channeling system. Yeah. So breathe deep, breathe out, hold, close all orifices, hold the breath. Out. You feel the body as it relaxes and you're more and more cutting out the thoughts is being filtered and you're looking more and more inside yourself here. Yeah? Now we'll do Kapal Bhati. Kapal Bhati metaphorically opening your fontanels here, yeah? which is your connection right to the abundance, you know, the pyramid shape. You know how it's all made. The one third above the base of it, like it's called the king's chamber, the direction. <coughs> you know, old people, those <coughs> they used to meditate there and obtain this kind of connection. Or oh, the Damru, you know, the Damru, the shift plays in the universe, the dance, it's like the pyramid. Eh? So, the, from the top down comes to your heart, from base of your root chakra to the heart again, it joins. It's a Damru. This is how each of us are connected to the abundance or the energy form of who you are, from the physical that we are to the energy self. And if you learn how to actually travel this path of removing what is the illusion and the maya and the ego, it automatically then gets filled by the energy form of you. And maya and illusion or Saturn, whatever you call it, devil, all represents this bad behaviors. And it's a good time now to remind yourself. So we we'll go through the nine Navratri, yeah? nine planetary system, nine representations of the female power. Yeah, So Hindu religion in that way is very beautiful because it represents the whole creation as a feminine. All the nine days that you pray with different colors is basically different representations of the feminine creation. And feminine is the creation, be it any species, plants, animals, or human. Who gives, who creates? It's a female. So the whole creation itself within uh, the universe or the metaverse or wherever the limit is, is actually a feminine creation. In the Hindus for thousands or millions of years, they, they've taken it. It's their explanation of the creation, the feminine power. So Navratri actually teaches us that if you respect that femininity, the feminine power, you become you get to relate to your energy form much quicker. And that's why if a female is serious in actually spirituality, it's much easier path for them. 
a man has to do, which is like thousand times much, much more effort than a people. Because the natural, nature, natural uh, creation is feminine. And Navaratri does that. And now the Sera was yesterday. Thus, the Sera. What it does it teach? It teaches you that remove your tay and different. These negativities that we have, the jealousy, the hatred, the violence, the anger, this uh, judgment, all this negative behavior, the sera, that's what represents. So femininity, the feminine power, and in, in, a, in a medical sense as well. So if a person is born, there's 50% uh, chromosome from male and 50 from female. That's a physical attributes that we get. But 100% of your mitochondrial DNA comes from your mother. So my father's 100% mitochondrial DNA was from my Aji. It's same for me. Every human, the 100% of your energy form that a person has comes from the female. So there's, a, there's science behind it too, whatever the Hindus have been teaching for millions of years is actually true. The Shakti or the fire because the mitochondrial DNA produces ATP. ATP is the, the form in your body which produces energy and it comes from only the mother. So learning to respect, to have faith, um, which also requires a female not to forget that what they represent is the nurture, the creation, the creativity. And with all these 1960s, 70s, 80s, now 2000s, what they have done, the full sense of actually empowerment of female is taking away a female and trying to make them into a male, which is a defeatist trend. A female is best being a female, which is nurturing, caring, soft-hearted, looking after the people like our mother's day. One, you know, a food was made, it was made for everyone who was around it, never mind how little it was. So doing, uh, thinking, sharing last bits of your money and everything is a motherly role. But if you are becoming like a man, then that, that feminine power of a woman is being lost as well. So, so this, these festivities are actually, what they do is actually remind us what the truth is in terms of the creation and science also is now basically showing things like and then, then the Sera and leading into Diwali. So removing your darkness, ignorance is all that light over darkness. So this will this Diwali be. So learn the significance of it. The ritual part of it is a very simple act of it. It doesn't do anything. Understand the reason, deep reason, because these old festivities are made to remind us as human beings for the real the purpose of why you are born as a human being. So don't forget the real significance of Navratri, the feminine power, 100% mitochondria. A female needs to remain a female in terms of their qualities of nurturing, being motherly, being compassionate, being so, you know, caring about others, your neighbors, anyone and everywhere. A man usually is not that good, but these days, you know, it's changing. It's a, it's a saying. You don't do that. You don't change for that reason because you're only going to destroy a family runs by a woman, a mother. And traditionally, this thing was the power. That's why people have been very successful in their life. Because if mother was giving that kind of basis and control in a family. So Dasera, 10 heads of Ravan is a reflection of all these different attributes, negativities of jealousy, hatred, violence, anger. Remove it. Learn. That's, and then the Diwali, why we light up everything. Remove darkness, ignorance. And all this stuff. Okay. So breathe again now. Kapal Bhati is metaphorically then opening your kapal, which is your connection of uh, towards your energy self. So it's a breathing out exercise. So you push your belly button in and 
as you're breathing out, push your belly button in and keep repeating, like in a cycle, one per second or something at your own rate. Don't have to raise and do it for a few minutes because the real thing is your dormant energy in the, in the muladha root chakra needs to be activated and moved up and up. Otherwise, it just lies there and your life will be finished and it will be misused for only very basic levels of uh, procreation, survival, and that's it. And it's wasted. You really need to utilize it in a very, in a high manner, which is that's why you're a human being. Otherwise, then you don't use it. You don't realize in this lifetime you return as an animal, then just be very in a program manner, then just do simple few things and that's it, your life will be there. Or worse still, even if you haven't done anything and kept, uh, kept sleeping all of your life, then you'll be a plant. You'll be in a sun, rain, storm, fire, just can't run even. You'll be stuck there. So the what you are doing all is being recorded in your subtle body, subtle mind, the self that carries on from one life to another. The goodness is recorded, the bad is also recorded. There is no judgment, there is no, no punishment. It's only on the principle of whatever you do has a impact on whatever you will be in terms of good or bad. Yeah, so breathe out.
kapal bhati okay so you can once you get into the rhythm it's very easy but in the in the beginning is very hard because you're pulling all these muscles greatest power is that you know you, you are digging digging deeper deeper inside yourself and once you remove everything else that spice that then you are reaching is actually what you are that spice is outside so keep practicing slowly okay so now breathe in to the left so anulom below out to the right in to the right out to the left in to the left out to the right in to the right out to the left now do it very quietly subtly okay hold it out to the right hold in to the right out to the left into the left out to the right into the right out to the left into the left out to the right into the right as much as peace and relaxation that you get is probably after this one and a half hours that we do these exercises then you reach that space then it's scientifically what you've done is move from beta waves into alpha which is about seven oscillation normally it's about 24 so it really cuts down and if you keep practicing breathing exercise you can go into what's called theta so you get his self hypnotic state and then if you can keep going further down which is called delta so delta is all that is about synchronicity magnetism everything happens for you automatically so it is actually your state of brain which opens your dimensions or densities that you can relate with. In this state, it's good. That's probably only time that you can truly meditate because otherwise you're not really meditating. You're trying, but because your brain waves are not in synchronized with what you are trying to achieve, you are distracted all the time. So you really need to be in this state. Then only can sit and, I mean, one of the things is to learn how to sit for a while. And if you, you know, to be grounded, breathe in deeply. Um, संकल्प 
हे परम पिता परमात्मा हम आपके विभिन्न दुखों के निवृत्ति के लिए और आपके पूर्ण आनंद की प्राप्ति के लिए अपने पूर्ण शक्ति से आपके शरण में आए आप कृपया करके हमारे संपूर्ण दुखों को दूर करके हमें पूर्ण आनंद की प्राप्ति कराइए और आप कृपा हमारे ऊपर सदा बनी रहे प्रतिहारा में शुद्ध आत्मा में चेतन स्वरूप हूं मैं पांच तन मात्रा है पांच महाभूत आकाश वायु जल पृथ्वी पांच तन मात्राए रूप रंग स्पर्श शब्द दस इंद्रिया चित्र मन कार कुछ नहीं बल्कि मैं शुद्ध आत्मा हूं द बॉडी कीप चेंजिंग माइंड की चेंजिंग मोशन की चेंजिंग थॉट की चेंजिंग बट आई नेवर चेंज इन हुए माय ऑन द डिवाइन एंड द सोल ऑफ द प्राणा इन द लाइफ टोन ऑन पार्ट इन पार्ट ऑफ दैट एंड आई एंटायर क्रिएशन दैट अनलिमिटेड कॉन्शियसनेस आत्मा परमात्मा आई एम नॉट द फार कमोडियल आई एम नॉट द फार सटल the mind memory ego all intelligent interception detachment dissociation oh dharana dhyan samadhi dharm lakshan avastha concentration meditation and then transcendence beyond the three dimension fourth fifth sixth seventh 11th 25th का पहला स्वर व्यापक स्वर शक्तिमान स्वर अंतर्यामी जन्म आनंद अमन निर्विकार नित्य पवित्र सृष्टि करता है धर्म अर्थ का मोक्ष की प्राप्ति कराने वाला ब्रह्मचर्य गृहस्थी बानस में सन्यास यात्रा हमारे नहीं ब्रह्मचारी अब हमारे लिए ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिया आकाश जल पृथ्वी हर काल हर समय हर जगह हर मोड़ हर स्थिति में उपस्थित चौबीस गुण तैतीस कोट में पांच क्रिया बना दो चलने वाला ईश्वर आप अनंत काल से अपनी उपकार भगवान की वर्षा कर प्राणी मात्र के संपूर्ण कामनाओं को आप ही प्रतीक्षण करना करते हमारे लिए जो कुछ शुद्धता है उसे बिना मांगे स्वयं हमारे बोली में डालते जाती है आपके हाथ चल रहे चल शांति तथा आनंद का वास है आपके चरण शयन की शीतल छाया में प्रम तृप्ति शाश्वत सुख की उपलब्धि तथा विरक्षित पदार्थों की प्राप्ति में सच्ची श्रद्धा तथा विश्वास स्तुति प्रार्थना उपासना करोगनाइज प्रोटेक्टेंट ओल्ड माइटी जेनरेटर ऑपरेटर इवेंचुअली डिस्ट्रोल From eternity, to keep showering your blessings or desires of your being, so always to be by you, whatever is good and beneficial for us, you provided us without asking. Provide our wisdom, happiness, peace, and contentment, love, and affection, this full of illness, weakness, and worries. May we all with one another sit pray and submit ourselves in the arms of the benevolent and compassionate Creator. May we we be like the lotus flower, living this material world, be but be detached. We move narrow-minded, selfishness, lust, anger, jealousy, hatred, violence, ill will, and negativities of our life. Oh, kadusra arthe sarva raksha kadi devi kadi bhakti kadhyati priti vilo vanaspati dolok stud sari sukshan karan sari gross body or ethereal subtle body or causal body. जाके राखो साइया मार सके न कोई बार न बात पर सके जो जो तेरी हो ये वे सीट ये दफ़ेंदे ये तो प्रेट टाइड एवरी प्लेन से पाइंट एक्सिस्टेंस इस नो रैंडमनेस और एक्सीडेंस एवरीथिंग इस अ कोइंसिडेंस और सिंक्रोनिसिटी और सिर्फेंडिटी दिस सिंक्नी दिस हार्मनी दिस हीमोस्टेसिस एंड दिस मैग्नेटिज्म remove all the negativities of our life chama sarvata istrita nirvita kaal chunta sab achhe gun hamare sambhati bane hamara sharir swasth tatha paripushta man sukshant tatha unnat atma pavitra tatha sundar aapke sansparsh hai hamari sari shakti viksit hamare hriday mein daya tatha sanmuti vaani mein mithas ho hamare drishti mein pyar aur buddhi se gyan se paripurn kare hamari vyaktit mahan tatha vishal ho May we acquire all the virtuous qualities: forgiveness, simplicity, stability, fearlessness, and humbleness. May all good 
qualities we are possess possessing, we are body, we have been strong mind, pure and enlightened, so divine and super through your blessings, all our senses be enlightened. We are heart of compassion and spoke to you, we are noble and thoughtful action. The vision of love for entire creation, new complete education and wisdom, may our personality be virtuous and great. Katisa, the Shuddha Masi, Buddha Masi, Mukta Masi, Niranja Masi, Aap Shuddha, Poit. All you are perfect and complete. Have a Shuddha, Poit from Sankal Kare, Sadna Purushara, Tadhyas, Vivek, Vairaki Kapi. Tattva Masi, Am Brahma Jaisi, Sachidana, Sankal Mokshi Shakti Ritam, Sarir Se Tamsik, Jo Istiti Hai, Negativity, Inertia, Sab Dur Ho Jai. राज सिक बन जाए निष्काम करें जन्म और जन्म का जो क्लेश है हमारे में इंप्रेशंस जो आत्मा कर छाया हुआ है वो सब निकल जाए विद्या आस्पिता राग द्वेश अग्नि द्वेश मृत्यु का भय उल्टा ज्ञान लगाओ बदले की भावना सब समाप्त हो काम क्रोध मोह मोह मदा माया मत से ईर्ष्या द्वेष आदि कुटिल भावनाओं को दूर हमारी बात पीत का श्लेषमा की प्राप्ति हो जागृत स्वप्न सुषुप्ति तुरिया तुरिया तर भार को भार को चेतना की प्राप्ति हमारी शब्द वाणी संकल्प हो अन्न जल अग्नि आकाश आशा स्मृति आत्मा परमात्मा लोकेशन अपेक्षा वितेशना नेत्री भाव करुणा मुद्रा अपेक्षा की प्राप्ति हो अन्य कोश मन में अपराध में अभिज्ञान आनंद में अपोश अहिंसा सत्यास्य ब्रह्मचर्य अपिग्रह स्वर्ण संतोष तपस्या सिद्धि ईश्वर को मिलाने की प्राप्ति चित्र दोगो दो विचित्र काग्रह की प्राप्ति योग चित्र वृत्ति निरोधा सर्विकल से सर्विचार सर्वि� धान ना ध्यान समाधि धर्म लक्षण और उसका संयम की प्राप्ति सिद्धि की प्राप्ति हो अनिमा महिमा गरिमा नहीं मम्मा प्राप्ति कम में आस्तबा विस्तबा प्राण सुरुप मत प्राण देने वाले दुख हटता सुख प्रदाता Give up life, remove our sorrows, bestow our happiness, create our universe, the art most luminous, true and adorable. We meditate on this, this is by the guide of our intellect in the right direction. Mantra Chikitsa Om, Tak Chak Chut Dehitam Purush Cha Chut Prat Nichat Nishrini Sharda Shatam Jigomi Sharda Shatam Punyama Sharda Shatam Prabhama Sharda Shatam Dina Shama Sharda Shatam Dhesham Sharda Shatam जागृत दुर्मे देवी तुम देवी तन देवी तुम दुर्मम ज्योति शाम ज्योति रीतम तन्मे मना शिव संकल्प ओम त्रयंबकम जामहे शुगंधिम पुष्पे वर्धनम गुरुवार कुल वंदना मित्रमुष्मामिता तुम तीजुमसि तेजुमहि दे बलमसि बलमहि दे मोजोमसि ओजोमहि दे बीरमसि बीरमहि दे ओम सहोमसि सहोमहि दे मनोरमसि मनोरमहि दे ॐ तरुपाग्ने से तरुण मुपाय विचोदाग्ने से वर्चने दिन ॐ तरुमा तरुमा भोतुमा ॐ तरुण माचत वित तरुण मंदु शिखात्मे विद्या दग्रम तरुण सर्वम देव देव ॐ विश्वान देव सवितर दर तारम पराश्वाय जगभक्तन पन्नाश ॐ हिरण्य गर्भा समवित ताग्रे भूतस्थ जाता पति रीत्या सदा धारित बिंध्याम ते मक्षमें दीवाया हविशा दीवा यात्मदावल दायस्तो पाश्य पिशन्यश्च दीवा 
इस छाया में तुम विश्व मिलते हुए कृष्ण देव आया हमेशा भी दे प्राण तुम विश्व तू मई चैतन्य जात जो भाव हुआ या शिष्य दुई तस्पे तुष्पदा कृष्ण देव आया हमेशा भी दे शिक्षा <laughs> बृहस्पति शनो विश्व नीलवस्तवाक्षम ब्रह्मादि तुम प्रक्षम ब्रह्मादि शामी रिक्त मदि शाम धर्म मौतु तत्वा मौतु मौतु मा मौतु ओम शेवी रविष्ट आपु मौतु पीत ये शो रविष्ट ओम सर्वशा स्वस्तिर्भवशा शातिर्भवशा पूर्णम मंगल ओम स्वस्ति न इंद्रो बृहदेवाशा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्वेदा स्वस्ति नाचर्यो अरिष्ठ कर्मा ृतंगमयुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलुखिलु
So very beautiful festive time, beautiful festivities, Hindu religion is through the whole year. Every step there is a teaching and uh, attempt to actually understand the meaning of why you are a human being. It's not easy to get a human life. They say, you know, Chaurasi Lakh, you only populate million species within that human life is the only one in which transcendence happens. So evolve yourself. You know, bring in all these values and evolve as a human being. You're just driving at a very basic level that you've been born with. It's not good enough for a human being. The purpose is to evolve yourself to reach a state of actually the energy form of the person that you are apart from the physical being that we are, which is basically 10% of who you are and which is controlled by your ego and very limited level of sensual perceptions anyway. You are not even getting the ultimate of your sensual perceptions even. So if a failure within that even. So if you go on the other side, uh, evolve, uh, then your 90% of it make your sensual perceptions of life, the physical living itself, so much, much more beneficial and so much in depth with every abundance, health, wealth, wisdom. Okay. So have a good week and enjoy the festivities. Keep focused as I keep reminding of the real significance and meanings of them. Oh, Shanti, 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 see you next Sunday, 8 o'clock.